Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Just a quick addendum to my recent update on the 45 ACP Sabbats, or Sabos, if you prefer to pronounce it that way. Uh, and these would probably work for 45 Long Colt, etc. as well. But anyway, uh, as you may have noticed, I did end up posting the STL file for the Plastic Sabbat publicly on my website. Um, I think, you know, at this point, these are really still kind of in development. You know, I've certainly made some progress, but right now I think the best thing I can do is release them to the reloading community and, you know, let other people start playing around with them so we can continue to refine the design uh, and see where it goes. Now, I figure you've got the community of reloading enthusiasts, and you've got the community of 3D printing enthusiasts, and I'm sure there's some overlap between those two communities, but it's not 100%. So there's uh, very possibly going to be some reloaders out there who are interested in experimenting with these Sabbaths, but don't have the capabilities to print them for themselves. So I think there is a niche demand for you know, commercially available uh, plastic sabots. Um, now, that said, I don't plan on printing any for sale myself. Uh, I've just got my one printer that I use for you know, experimentation. I'm still kind of playing around with it. I don't have anywhere near the bandwidth to be printing these in bulk for commercial sale. Um, I'm also not 100% sure whether or not you would need an ammunition manufacturing license to print a Sabbat for commercial sale. Uh, intuitively, I wouldn't think that this little plastic cup would qualify as a regulated ammunition component. But that's something that you really need to look into uh, and ascertain for sure before printing any of these for sale. So there's potentially an opportunity here for someone else to make a profit 3D printing uh, the Sabbaths and eventually perhaps other things that I've designed to be 3D printed. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have you know, one company that kind of becomes the official commercial source of 3D printed objects that I've invented and that would be willing to pay me a small royalty or commission, not so much for the designs that I've already released to the public, but for the uh, additional publicity they would get from being the official source of uh, commercially available versions of my designs. And in that regard, I have actually spoken with the proprietor of Enkindler Creations, which is a 3D printing company down in Texas. Um, they were tentatively open to the idea, and they ran off a test batch of Sabbaths, uh, but they were also pretty busy at the time, and so it kind of remains to be seen if they'll have the bandwidth to actually step into that role or not. Uh, anyway, I'll keep you posted on this if there's any further developments, and until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.